I will show you now how to search for keywords in context. There are two procedures for that. One, by going to the top, you select search project, and that will allow you to search for a specific keyword or a combination of keywords across all of the objects that make a project, the documents, memos, codes, networks, etc. You can select them all, or you can specify only one or a few of them. The other option, the other procedure, is that you uh, look for keywords in context in a specific document only. For that, you have to open that document, and then on top right, you select search document. There you will see on the left side in the navigator, the text search option. Uh, that is where you will enter the keywords that you are looking for. So now I will enter the following, NGOs. And it found NGOs here. It shows, shows it to you in the navigator, but it also highlights the word in the text. If I enter the pipe sign, which is a vertical line that on my keyboard is found on the same key as the backslash, so I click shift backslash that enters the pipe sign. Now I will enter the word health. And now health is highlighted, but also NGOs. And you will notice that uh, I can go one by one by clicking on the, on the occurrence, uh, but I can also use this arrow that points down. If I click on that arrow pointing down, it will take me one by one. If I do shift backslash, therefore I am entering the pipe sign again, and I write down uh, community health search, I will get health, 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 NGO, and community. Uh, but if I also click where it says grep, use grep, this is the option that you click when you're using special symbols, such as this, uh, this uh, pipe sign and a combination of, of words. Uh, and now what happens is that uh, community health will also be highlighted. So you have health, health, NGOs, as well as community health. So that allows you then to search for keywords in context in a uh, specific document. For that, you first have to open that document. So let's, no, let's now go to the uh, second option, which is to uh, search the entire project for uh, keywords. So I will click on search project. Uh, by default, all of the objects of the project are selected. Let me uncheck them all so that we start from the very beginning. And let me go to search term and let me select, let me select uh, health. And I will tell Atlas TI, look for health in documents, in memos, in quotations. search and here it gives me uh, all of the documents first where the word is found so let's take a look at this the first option brch agent pdf and it highlights there on top uh, the actual word you see that on top uh, community health agent so health is highlighted there uh, let me go to another one here this is the same document but a, a different uh, location of the word health in that document and the word health is highlighted there as well you see that 
So it will show me that word uh, everywhere where it shows in that document. And, and, and then it goes to another document. It ends here with that BRCH agent document. And it goes to another one. Uh, let me go here. This is a, a, a rich text format document and the word health is highlighted there. Let me go here to yet another one. In fact, let me now uh, transition to other objects. Yes, the memo. So in this memo, funding sources, our health center was created by a consortium of NGOs and so on. So this is a uh, part of a memo and it takes me to the memo uh, where I am uh, writing about this. So here it is. Our health center was created and so on, right? So the word health uh, is showing right here. And let me go now down the list until I find quotations. So here is a quotation, uh, one, one, double click. And the quotation is highlighted and that is where I see the word health, health. So the text search option is very, is very, or the search project option, my apologies, is very powerful and it allows you to go over all the all of the project the entire project but you can define where you want to look for it now there is in terms of elements where you see elements there is the option of telling atlas ti where uh, for example where in the document do you want to search for that term in the name of the document in the content of the document let's talk about documents uh, or um, uh, the name would be, you know, Community Health Agent, CH Agent. Well, that is the name of it. Uh, the content would be the entire text of that document. And the comment would be um, the comment space where you write something about the document. So you would have to select whether you want to do the search in the name, the content, or the comment, uh, or in all of those three elements. Okay, all right. So let's take a look for something else here. Uh, community health. And let me see, I think I have to use grep. And community health is highlighted over there. Okay, all right. So that is what I wanted to show you. Uh, this is a, a very nice way of searching for keywords in context. So to wrap up, uh, I said that there are two procedures. One is to look all over the project and you specify where to look for. And the second one is uh, searching for keywords in individual documents. Uh, just maybe, let me add just a, a reflection here. Um, when you are working in your project and you are very active writing memos and commenting your quotations, commenting your codes and commenting your documents. Uh, uh, well, many times you may wonder, well, did I ever write anything about this particular uh, uh, topic? And you represent that topic in the form of a keyword, right? So in this tool will precisely allow you to uh, identify uh, and determine whether or not uh, you actually wrote something about that because you come to the search project option and you just select memos, right? Instead of documents and memos, you just select memos and that's all. And then the software will go over and it will tell you, oh yes, look at this. Precisely, you wrote uh, about community health in the memo called Reflections on Community Health Agents. And if you go there, you are going to see it. Okay, so that is all for now, and I thank you for watching this video tutorial. Bye-bye.